big leg. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Or even good night. Just want to say thank you for tuning into the show, Twin Zinc Talk. I'm your host, Twin Zinc. First, I want to say you see the hoodie I'm rocking on IG. Reach out to Nedge Designs of Craft to get your own customized hoodie made during the winter season. Yes, people get it, get it, get it. But let's get right into it, people. Uh, this morning, you know, as I'm preparing my start my day, you know, I was on social media scrolling through some posts, whatever, and I see a topic here. A lady posted today. It says, date multiple men and allow them to earn your exclusivity. A guy likes you? Cool. He wants to get to know you more? Great. Let him prove he's worthy. I'm sorry. Let him prove he's worthy closing the door on other options before you actually do because you do have options, sis. All right. That was the the topic, right? So I just, you know, because I wasn't trying to get in a debate with anybody. I just copy, screenshot that post and post it on my page, right? And I just said, ladies, don't do this. Because I would never teach my daughter this. Like, I wouldn't teach my daughter to go out there and date multiple men. And then, of course, as, as you know, anything like this, you, it's going to be some backlash, right? Now, I think it's all healthy conversation that I had with plenty of people, right? But, you know, the women went in, you know. And I'm really staying on topic here because it's really about women. Because the post came from a woman saying that women should date multiple men. Before you choose that one person and make that and make the guy who you're dating with make that exclusivity. Now, granted, you know, first thing they were saying that well, dating multiple men doesn't always mean sex. In this day and age, stop it. Be honest with you. Men, the first thing when a man meets a woman, you know, the first thing you do is gonna be an attraction. You gotta be attracted to each other. First off, if I don't know you from a can and paint, but if I see you walking by, I'm like, woo, she fine. Or she has a big bud or a big boobs, whatever. It's something, she's cute, whatever. There's always attraction there. And, and, and to be honest, most men, first thing they want to do is, I want to hit that, right? So you telling me that you're on a date, you're going on multiple dates with guys, right? Let's say five. I said a low number. Could be higher, could be less. Just saying five. So I promise you, out of the five people that you're going on a date with, right? Three of them probably hit, if not all five. Because... If a man's really into you, right, and he likes you a lot, he's going to do X, Y, Z, right? He's going to show you attention. He's going to take you out. And at the end of the day, he's going to want something back. Simple as that. So <laughs> so here's the thing of this, ladies. Um, I'm going to speak on my personal experience because that's how that's what I can speak on. I can speak on my own personal experience. I'm not speaking on what ifs and all this other stuff going on here, right? At the end of the day, when the man is ready to settle down when the man is ready to be with a particular person he is only focused on that one person okay let me give you a story before i met my wife right i came to a certain point in my life like you know what i'm done texting the street i'm i'm really looking for a long-term relationship right i didn't say come on, i'm looking for marriage i said i'm looking for a long-term relationship because i'm now focused on what i want in life at this time in my life at that time so I still dated women, but I told them, hey, I'm looking for a long-term relationship, and I'm not looking to have sex. Now, I'm definitely sexually active, sexually active, and want to have sex, but I don't want to uh, have sex as my basis as far as my relationship before I go into this long-term relationship. Okay, cool. So that's my basis. Some people say, oh, man, you acting like the bride. Yeah, okay, whatever it is, what it is. So at that time frame, I'm give you a story. So I dated a few women before I met my wife, right? And I told them this. So we still go on dates. We'll still, we make a little kiss, that's it. But nothing, and of course, nothing, nothing like that. None at all. Just a little kiss, whatever, grab, whatever. But we date, we'll talk, whatever. So at that time, when I was heavily in the church, um, I would invite the female I was talking to at the time that I was getting to know. I said, hey, I want to invite you to be a visitor or guest at my church, right? And the woman would never want to come. But the woman also turned around and invite me to come to her house or come out to the club and come to the party or whatever. My thing is this. I was open for that. I said, listen, you come to my club, I'll go to your club. Didn't want to do that, right? And then on top of that, like I said, I wasn't trying to have sex. 
I made it very clear. I wanted to, but I wasn't. I was holding out a little longer. Not for a long year, but I just, I wasn't. Because most of the time I did, what my first time trying to do is get the draws. Point play period, I'm not even going to lie. But at that time in my life, I wasn't focused on sex. But, so, females would come over, we'd chill, watch TV, just hang out, talk, whatever, just get to know each other. I, one lady asked, where you back from, man? I was over there, you know, through the door, whatever. All right, so she calls in the room. Why is the woman in the room butt naked in the room? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm stuck with dilemma. Do I jump in the bed? Do I leave? Yeah, I jumped in the bed, I ain't gonna lie. But she's no longer in the picture now because she... <laughs> Not, <laughs> she's no longer the picture. Yeah, I, I broke, but hey, what you want to do? You got a naked woman looks fine in your bed. You wanted to, but you didn't. You didn't want to because you was holding out. Right there, boom. But long story short, I'm no longer with that person. After that, we was done. I really didn't talk to her much because that wasn't what I was looking for. I'm looking for a long term relationship. And I only say it's because I'm speaking to the post. You want to date multiple, it says date multiple men to allow them to earn exclusivity. Listen, let's be honest. If you tell a man up front while you're dating, right, that you're talking to three other five guys or two, whatever it may be. If you tell a guy up front that he's talking to other men right now, you know, of course, you're not going to tell him. You're trying to see who's the best one. You ain't going to tell him not because you're like, oh, sure, I don't care for all that. Like, men, men don't really care. Like, really, you talking to this dude up here? Well, not Cool. I just want to get what I get, and I'm gone. Since you already got two, three, other four dudes lined up, but of course you ain't gonna say that up front. You're not gonna tell me up front that you have other dudes lined up. No, no, you're not. And and like I said, it's men neither. But once again, speaking of my experience, I tell my wife at that time I was not look. I wasn't looking for uh, to have sex, and I wasn't. I was looking for a long term relationship. So the first day we went out, I told her I said, hey. I'm in it for a long-term run, so um, if it's not what you're looking for, just enjoy the dinner, have a good night, and let bygones be gone. Bygones be bygones. But the fact that you're 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 a higher these women out here are actually promoting on social media, telling other women it's okay to go out there and date multiple men because you have options. We know you have options. Point blank. Period. Men know that they ain't the only guy. There's always. There's always one guy better than the next guy. So we know we're always competition. But to, to come out here and, and make me seem like I got to do a race to get you, that's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to be in competition with whatever else. And then, and then you know, stuff happens. I mean, um, people say it doesn't equal to sex, but we have TV shows for over a couple decades now to say you're the father. You're not the father. And why is that? Because a woman sleeping with multiple men at one time, and they don't know who the father is. That's just one show. And I could just name just many females that have multiple kids by different dudes, and they're only years apart, if not months apart. Well, not months, but you you get what I'm saying. <laughs> years apart. Well, it'll still be a month. But anyway, not but anyway, not getting to all that. But the point I'm trying to make, men, we do have this conversation with our, our sons or fellow men or whatever about dating women and, and all that. But the difference is that we don't practically go out there on social media and tell men out there, yes, you should go ahead and date hundreds of women until you find... No, we don't. I mean, we had a conversation privately, but we won't go out there and post on social media. So that's what point I'm trying to make. The point is that you're on social media telling other women it's okay to date other men. That's not okay. That's not okay. Now, this epidemic down here, in Atlanta, Georgia, we have, let's say, it's 2 million women compared to 1 million men. So there's more women than men. Simple as that. But then you're telling men to... Telling women to date other men because there's options out there. What you need to do is first is focus on yourself. Focus on what you really want out of life. The right man will come to you if you're doing what you need to do. Simple as that. And when the right man's ready to be married or ready for a long-term relationship, you're only going to be his focus. But you can't have your cake and your pie at the same time. And then you don't, all right, this guy over here is doing X, Y, Z. But this guy over here doing this. And then you playing with both of them, and then, you know, this might be the right guy for you, but this other guy here got this. No, that's stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I understand that you have options, and we know you have options, but I would never practically, and I'm not going to teach my daughter about dating multiple men to find out to see if, uh, you know, if he earns the right. Um, but I'm just being honest. Here. I mean, I, it's 
it's it's it's crazy out here. Because at the end of the day, no woman's going to tell you up front that she's dating multiple men at one time. She's not. Because then one's going to make you like a hoe, right? And vice versa. If you tell God, tell you, I got 10 girls over here, like a hoe. And if anyone know up front that I'm talking to multiple people, no one's going to talk to neither one of the person. Simple as that. So don't go out there and proactively influence the young generation that it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. I mean, I don't see people hurt. I don't see people posting talking about you know get your education, build your business, get your credit together. No, we are talking about dating. Dating is not the plateau of everything. And if someone want to talk to me about, well, you have a son, are you going to raise him to, you know, know his options? Uh, that's a whole nother topic, a whole nother time frame. I mean, and I say this like I said on the post, men have more to lose. So men can't be out there just dating 100 women at one time or being messy because we got more to lose. The system has proven it. The system has told us that we have more to lose. So my, the, the way I raised my son, <laughs> he will move way differently than I move. I think I did pretty good, but I feel I could do better. Not better as far as my relationship-wise, as far as dating the streets and, and things that I've done. So, yeah, yeah. I'm not practically teaching neither one of my kids to go out there and just date multiple people. And teach them self love and, and, and get the priorities straight. No one wants to be alone. I get it. But I will never teach no one to have multiple people you dating with. You can sit here all day and lie and say, I'm not having sex with anybody. Well, okay, stop it. I mean, there's some women out there who may not have sex with multiple people at one time. Kudos to y'all. But the other percentage is way higher than <laughs> the numbers can reach. And just to push that narrative out there saying that it's okay, you're setting people behind. I mean, you're setting us back. Simple as that. What is the narrative you're trying to push? What is the narrative? What's the narrative? So I, I really had this one already talk about that. Um, but it, yeah, I don't really have much to say after that. These posts are super funny, crazy. You know, you know, I'm not really, you know, it's not, it's not trying to bash anybody. It's just something that it, I would never promote that. I have, I'm on social media, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm going to have IG, and I don't have men posting saying, yeah, fellas, I need you to go out there and talk to 10 different women until you find the right, the right queen. No. Conversations do have happen behind doors, but we don't go out there publicly tell our young men that. So, people be out there, um, thank you for your time listening. Um, once again, self-love. Focus on yourself. So when it does come time to mingle, you are dating the right type of people because if you're doing great things and moving in the right direction, the great men and great people are going to come your way. Now, granted, nothing's perfect at all. Nothing's, the prince not going to come your way, the princess not going to come your way. The point I'm trying to make is if you get yourself together, when the other person comes, they can bring value to the table. If they're not bringing it back to the table, then you can just come dry right there. And don't settle for anything. But that's all I have, people. One love. Thanks for listening to the show. Comment, like, share. I'm sure I, I have some more uh, comments because my, my Facebook is going off right now, even as we speak. But y'all have a wonderful day. I'm out.